Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening, how are you guys? Hello, teacher. Hello, Carla. Hello, Amilcar. Hello, Maggie. Hello, Jessica, Lucia, welcome. Marielos, welcome. And Estefania. Thank you for joining on time, guys. Let's wait for the rest to join the class and we will start, okay? Let's see Sabrina and Lisette is joining. Welcome back, Sabrina and uh, Lisette. Welcome back, okay? Jadixa is joining as well. Walter is here as well. Walter, Walter, welcome, Walter. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Okay, guys, let's have uh, one more minute to wait for the rest of you and we will start the class. We will start with going through the attendance list and then uh, we will continue with the class. I mean, I mean with the review that we had today. Uh, Luis Ernesto, hello, Luis Christian, welcome. I can see Nelson is joining as well. Hello, Nelson, hello, Christian. Hi teacher, hello. How are you? Let's see who else is joining. I saw Mabel here. Hello teacher. Hello Maggie. Nice to see you. <laughs> Good, evening. Good evening. Good evening Mabel. How are you? Fine. Thank you. And you? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking Mabel. Where, wow, well, and, and where you are is like with a very good light, right? It tends to be like a daylight and not, not like a night, night light, night day, sorry. Your light is very good, Mabel. <laughs> what? I don't, I don't understand. I'm sorry. Oh, don't worry, Mabel. Le digo que su, la, la luz que, 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 que está donde, donde usted se encuentra se ve como que fuera de día y no de noche. La luz es bien, bien, se ve bien claro. Uh -huh. Yes, it's very uh, bright. Yes, it's very bright. Thank you, Mabel. Let's see who else is joining. Mil Milton, welcome. Let's see. Who else? Hi, good night. Good night. Okay, guys. So let me go through the attendance right now. Thank you. Please stay present whenever you can and turn on the camera. Help me out as well with placing your full name, guys. Jessica, sorry to teasing you. Could you please help me out to place the full name? Your full name, Jessica. Okay, teacher. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. Um, Jonathan and Julio, welcome back. How are you guys? Fine. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, guys, so I will go through the attendance list right away. Today is Wednesday the 16th. Let's see. Okay. Angela Estefania Marroquín Martinez. Present teacher. Hi, Estefania. Thank you. Let's see. Cristian Josué López Pérez. Present. Estela Mabel Orellana del Cid. Present teacher. Ileana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Iliana Ismael Arturo Morán Vázquez. Thank you. Hi, Ismael. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. 
But Mr. Avelar is not here yet. It's weird, guys. Sabrina, oh no, no, he's here. Ya le iba a decir a Sabrina qué estaba pasando. Present teacher, ya dijo mi nombre. No, 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 estaba molestando porque no veía a, a, a su best friend aquí, Mr. Avelar, pero hay que estar here. Ay, me, no, oh my God, se escucha bien fuerte, Sorry, me murpié algo ahí, sorry, pero se escucha mucho, mucho ruido. Jorge, welcome. How are you, Jorge? I'm fine, teacher. Great. Hello, Lisette. Welcome. Okay, so let's continue. Just one more. So, uh, Jessica del Carmen Vázquez, Vázquez. Present. Jonathan Alexis González Torre. Present, teacher. Jorge Antonio Feliciano Rivera. Present, teacher. José Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Present, teacher. Julio César Ramírez Arevano. Present. Thank you. Kenny Lizette Cuellar de Barrientos. Linda Magali García Montoya. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Marcos. He's not here yet, right? Marielos Janet Cornejo Erazo. Marta Lidia Godínez. Sabrina Lizette García Orellana. Present. Walter Alexander Lemus Medina. Marcos Amil Carmancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Lucía Susena Chica de Claros. Present teacher. Zulma Yarixa Oliva Córdoba. Present. Constanza Osmara Cáceres Trinidad. Carla Elizabeth Escobar Esquivel. Present. Lice del Carmen Hernández Miss Smith. Present. Okay, and I'm just missing Milton. Milton, I already report this, okay? Ya reporté esto, Milton, para que nos ayuden con su nombre, all right? Let's see. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Jaime, Good how are you? Okay. Bye. Okay, okay, just one moment. And let me share the screen, guys, just one second. Okay, let me know if you can see the screen, guys. I believe it's slow right now, like it is. It is my Scrum is frozen, right? Let me give it time. Let me give it time because there's something wrong here. Guys, do you see my scream? No, teacher. No? Oh my god, okay. What about now? Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, so guys, uh today's class, uh we'll go ahead and learn about can. And this can is for information and for possibility, okay? We got a new topic today. However, we will have a review about yesterday's class. And this is the class number three, okay? Number three. I believe previously we reviewed could. Hey guys, 
qué model vimos la vez pasada? Could or can? I believe it was can. I believe it was could, ¿verdad? Could. Could, ok. So, today we will start with can, les dije, y vamos a ver siempre este tema, pero this can is for information and for possibility, ok? Obviously, there are more uses of can. Hay muchos más usos del can. But uh, we will talk about just about information and possibility today. All right. So before to continue, we will go uh, to have the, the the review about yesterday's topic. Do you remember what was yesterday's topic, guys? Let's see if you remember. What was yesterday's topic? About about uh, imperatives. Have to. I remember that, but I don't know. Have to, very good, yes. We, we were talking about have to. And it, what is the use for have to? What do we use it for? I don't remember. What do we use have to, guys? Para que lo utilizamos? El have to? For obligations. For obligations. Obligations, very good. Could you please give me one example about that? Some examples about have to. Uh -huh. I may have to prepare in the class for tomorrow. Oh my God, Jaime has to prepare the class for tomorrow. Oh yes, Jaime, you need to prepare, you have to, pre you have to prepare the class for tomorrow. So let me, let me share the screen, I mean the book. Another example in negative form and an example in negative form let's see who wants to give me an example of negative form negative guys uh, let's see marta i haven't, i haven't to write short name in the platform uh -huh. I haven't to write, I haven't to, I haven't to, I haven't to, or, or I doesn't have. I doesn't have. Ah, uh, Mabel, en ese caso, I don't have. Que, eh, ajá, I don't have. I don't I'm have. Sure. Okay. Exactly. I don't have. I don't have to write my short name and the platform. Very good. En ese caso, el have to lo vamos a tomar como un simple present. Como un simple present. Okay, Mabel. Por eso es que utilizamos el do y el doesn't. Okay. Entonces, la negativa es doesn't. I doesn't have to. Okay. <clears throat> Aunque yo creo que Mabel nos dijo hasn't guys, or sorry, haven't, porque hay una estructura donde, donde ocupamos el haven't, pero lo utilizamos en un presente perfecto, que es otro tiempo, ¿sí? Pero don't worry, uh, Mabel, en ese caso lo vamos a ocupar, pero en otra estructura, en esta, vamos a ocupar el dasen porque lo vamos a ver el have como un... Um, como un simple present, un verbo parte, realmente eso es lo que es, ¿verdad? Simple present. Ahí se escucha como, como el papel aluminio. <ríe> como que les han sido papel aluminio aquí, ¿verdad? Right? Mm -hmm. Teacher, it's a rainy, a rainy very hard. Oh, it's raining cats and Run, dogs. Rain. Really? Today it's not raining here. Wow, okay, so that's the reason. Oh my god, okay, thank you for letting me know. So, guys, um, very good. What about um yes, that's pretty much it. Thank you a lot, guys. So I know you had this exercises that, that was the last activity that we were performing yesterday. So I don't know if you finished, guys, or do you want to have three more minutes to finish? Three for finishing, finishing it, yes? Three more minutes? Or should we resolve it together? 
Should, I, should we resolve it together? Lo, lo solucionamos juntos? Yes? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Let's do it together. Let's do it together. Okay? I will pretend I don't know. You will help me, okay? <laughs> so, uh, the company buy new materia. Vamos a utilizar have to or has to, depending on the person. So, what is the correct form here? What should I do here? The company? The company has to buy new has material. To. Have, right? Have. 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 To. Have. Has. 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 Ah, okay. Has, 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 okay. has, has to. Buy. 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 New material. Pero ahí le falta el das. Oh, oh, me falta el das? Ah, okay. Das. Sí, right? Das? I, I don't no, know. Das, not das. No. El das. Oh, das. Okay, okay. Das. Sorry. ¿Sí? Mm -hmm. Sí, the company does, that does. has to buy new material, ¿sí? ¿Así es? No. 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 Only has. No. ¿Solo has? The company uh, has. Solo has. Oh, my God, guys. I'm confused now. So, <laughs> has to buy. Has to buy new material. Yeah? ¿Por qué das no? ¿Por qué das no? I want to know. Guys, das. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué no le hacemos caso a Maggie? ¿Por qué das Because no? Because in this case, has is the auxiliary. Is the auxiliary. ¿Y el das cuando yeah. lo ocupamos? When? When should I use it? El das. I, I don't can use das, only I can use das when I is negative. The company doesn't have. Ah, And ok. In negative, is, in negative. Ah, ok. In this case, it's affirmative. Ok, ok. Thank you, guys. Ok. Ok. What about the number two? What should I put here? Your partners pile up, containers pile up. Pile up, this is the meaning of organize it in pile, pile up. Mm -hmm. Your partners pile up containers. Could you please help me? Cause I don't know. How should I do it? Have to fill, have to fill up. Has to. Have. Has? Have. Have. Has to. Have. Oh. Have? Okay. Have to? Have to? Piling up container. Piling up? Piling up? No? Piling up? No? No? Container. So it is piling up container. 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 Is it correct? How to pile it up? No. Oh, the verb is in a base form. Oh, the verb. Which one? This one? How? Oh, pile. Pile. oh okay, okay. Sorry. So, how to pile up containers. Okay, okay. What about the number three? What do you think about the number three? The agents not signing the letter. The agent doesn't have. Doesn't have. Doesn't. Okay. Doesn't don't have. Have to. Don't have. Sign don't have or doesn't have. Have to. Don't. Don't. Have. don't. don't. Porque está hablando de lo en plural. Have. Ah. Oh, okay. So cuando sea en plural yo ocupo don. Mm. Hacen. Es que está hablando don't de los don't. agentes, de ellos. Ah, ok. ¿Y cuando, cuando ocupo el dasen? Cuando es tercera persona. Cuando es tercera persona. Oh, ok, ok. So, the agents don't have to don't sign have the letter. To. Sign the letter. Ok. Wow, you are teaching me a lot, guys. I'm understanding now. Al principio me confundí, but it's okay. I understand now. What about the number four? Number four, guys? How do I do it? Mr. Bonilla? Has to. Has to. Has to. Has to. Has to. Design new models. Y por qué acá, why don't I use doesn't? Is there a person? 
doesn't, no? It's not doesn't, guys, but it's third person. No. no. Why? Uh, Why not? The exercise don't have to negative. The exercise, the exercise doesn't have, the exercise is not a negative. Ah, okay, okay, sorry. So, Mr. Bonilla has? Has, has to. to. Mm -hmm. Design. Design new model. Design new model. Designs, right? Because it's third person, right? No. Sin no, ah, okay. The auxiliary has the yes. Okay, so okay, has to design new models. New mm. model. <clears throat> okay, okay. Number five. What about number five? Doesn't 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 has to work how until late. Size, but group is not plural. Group. Group. It's not plural. Because it's a one group. No. group. No. Oh, no. it is considered no. as a singular. No. Nouns don't have s. No. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Doesn't um have right no. or has has no. to no no how ah no have have right have. okay doesn't have to Okay. No era porque aquí ya tenía la S. Por eso nos ponemos has aquí. Y me dijeron, guys, la vez pasada. Ahorita me acaban de decir. ¿No? Por eso no le pongo has aquí, right? No, porque es negativo. Doesn't have to work until late. Okay, wow, guys, I'm so proud of you, okay? A round of applause for you, okay? Thank you for teaching me. You did it great, okay? Did it great. So, let's see. Now, guys, it's time to practice, speaking practice. Oops, do you want to copy that? Sorry, guys, do you want to copy that? No? Yes, it's there. It's Let me send to you a... Uh, uh, a picture, okay? So you have you have it with you. The picture on the group. That's weird. Give me a second. Sorry for my camera. <clears throat> okay, I will send you a picture, guys. Mm. Because the screenshot is not working. I don't know why. Okay. I send it to you, the, the resolution of this exercise. Questions about these guys? Questions? Todo clear? Yes, clear? Yes, it's um, yes, yes. I sent it the, the, this picture, but <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> Lo mandó al grupo yesterday, right? You sent it yesterday. Yes, teacher. Thank you, thank you, Jarek. Thank you, Carla, Sabrina, Mr. Jaime. Thank you a lot, okay? And Maggie as well, thank you. Maggie, I do apologize. I couldn't listen to your audio, but I will listen it, okay? Sorry. Okay. I was in class before. So, but I will listen. Guys, uh, now we will have this activity. We will create a conversation with the partner, okay? This is a conversation, so it's easy. In mind, one of you is new there, so you have to give instructions about how, to, how, how sorry, some things have to be done. Ok, and you, you can switch roles. Vamos a hacer esta conversación, guys, in the break rooms y se van a tomar turnos. Primero uno va a ser el new y el otro que le explica cómo las cosas tienen que ser hechas en el trabajo. 
y de ahí switch roles, se van a cambiar los roles. La cosa es practice, ¿ok? En los breaker rooms. Practice, practice, practice. And here you have the conversation. This is a model or you can create another one. You can use this example or you can create another one, ¿ok? Pueden utilizar esto, pueden crear otro. Vamos a hacer los breaker rooms y ustedes van a hacer la conversación. Bueno, van a practicar la conversación porque la conversación ya está hecha acá solamente de adaptarla a su información. One second. Ahorita le mando el screenshot para que trabajemos en eso. Ok, so the conversation is hello. Uh, let's see. Hello, Jose. Welcome. Hi, how are you? Good. I have here the list of the activities you have to do first. You have to. Y ahí le ponen alguna actividad que tienen que hacer. Second, you have to. Third, you have to. Póngale una lista de las cosas que tiene que hacer. Invéntensela. Invent. Okay, where do I have to For example, where do I have to leave my documents? Okay. Uh, in the reception. Then you have to um, talk to your manager and um, sign the contract. Okay. Ustedes le agregan más información acá, pero ya tienen el modelo. So. De una vez los entre a los breaker rooms, guys, we'll start practicing, ¿ok? No perdamos el tiempo ahorita en escribir la conversación y pensarlo porque ahí nos llevamos mucho tiempo, sino que lo que vamos a hacer es esto. Vamos a irnos de una vez a la práctica, ¿ok? Ya les mandé la conversación al grupo, abran la conversación y vayan, ok, we will practice. Por ejemplo, let's see, let's see, for example, Sabrina, Sabrina, help me out to um to practice the conversation right now Sabrina let's practice the conversation together sin tener que hacerla de nuevo solamente eh, tratemos de improvisar y meterle la información que falta y si me quedo en blanco pues tratar de meter alguna información right? the purpose guys is to practice ok ese es el propósito so we have let's see Eight minutes. Eight minutes. Yeah, I believe it's enough, but okay. Le voy a dar ocho minutos para que practiquen los dos. Okay, for example, Sabrina, you will be A and I will be B. Now that we finish, Sabrina will be B and I will be A. Okay, se van a cambiar los roles. O sea, al final van a cambiar la conversación dos veces. No van a decir la misma conversación. The purpose is to practice. Practice. Not to write. Do not write anything. No escribamos nada, sino que léanlo y vayan añadiéndole la información improvisando. Improvising, all right? Is that clear, guys? Yes? Uh, Christian, could you please help me out to make a practice with me? Okay. Okay, you are A. You are A, Christian. A. Hello, welcome. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. I have to check my email. I have to prepare the material for the class. I have to send an email for the parent for the student. Okay, and where do I have to find the lesson plans? Uh, can you repeat me? Where where do I have to look for the lesson for the lesson plans? I have to look to the lesson plans in, in a school. In the school, oh, okay. With the principal? Yes, with the principal. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you, Christian. You're welcome. Okay, so improvise, guys. Improvise. If if doesn't anything comes to your mind, oh my God, try to place another information or something else. The thing is, here the purpose is to practice. Okay, so we will have eight minutes. 
four minutes for for um, the first conversation and four minutes for the other conversation. And you need to switch roles, okay? Si Cristian fue A en la, primer, en la primera conversación, yo voy a hacer B. Perdón, si Cristian va a hacer A en la primera conversación, en la segunda conversación va a ser B. So, for example, Cristian, let's switch roles. Um, hello, hello, uh, Mr. Lopez. Welcome. Hi, how are you? I'm doing awesome. Thank you. I have here the list of activities you have to do. First, uh, you have to go to the to the front desk, and you need to talk to the receptionist. All right. Uh, second, please leave your papers, all the documentation with the receptionist. And finally, let's sign your contract. Okay? Okay. But I do have to do everything? Uh, everything activity? Sorry, could you please repeat again, Mr. Lopez? Okay. Where do I have to? make uh, all activity oh where in with the receptionist okay all right so have a great day bye mr lopez bye see you okay so we are improvising see we're improvising you don't write, just improvise. So I will make the groups right now, guys. Ya les mandé la uh, conversation. And we have eight minutes to practice, okay? Eight minutes. Vamos a hacer los breaker rooms right now. Si alguien, guys, solamente está de oyente y no puede participar, dígame para yo no incluirlo en los breaker rooms, sino que ponerlo como oyente. All right? Teacher, me. Who said me? Who said me? Who said me? Yo, hey, Jonathan, Jonathan. Jonathan. Oh, okay. I am I'm driving right now and it's raining so hard. Okay, Jonathan. Thank you for letting me know, okay? Igual lo voy a poner solamente escucha, okay? No quiere decir que lo que lo okay. que lo play. Okay. okay, let me Thank see. you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Jonathan. Okay, guys, let's see. Um, okay, guys, click on join, please. I have already assigned to you to a breaker room. Click on join. And let's practice, okay? Let's practice. Guys, click on join. I'm sorry, Lucia, Milton, Sabrina, Kenny, Delen, click and join, please. Kenny, Sabrina. Sabrina, Kenny. Sabrina and Kenny. Hello, hello. Okay, vamos a hacer algo acá. Vamos a pasar a Sabrina con number nine. Ileana, is your no la ha asignado todavía, Ileana? Ileana. Ileana, Kenny, Sabrina, click on join, please. Let's see.
Iliana, could you please click on join? Iliana se encuentra ahí. ¿Me puede ayudar a darle click en join? Hello. Then you have to. Then you have to. Ahí finaliza. Creo, creo que ahí tenemos que agregar algo más. Ajá. Eh, por ejemplo, eh, then you have to, ¿qué quiere decir? Entonces tiene que, como hacer otras cosas aquí, ¿verdad? ¿no? Then... You have to um, develop her, uh, the activities and in the short time. Mm -hmm. Ahora yo soy la primera. Intercambiemos. Yes. Bye. Hello. ¿Cómo es tu nombre? Luis, Luis Ernesto. Luis. Y cambiamos roles. Yes. Yo creo que. Ah, teacher, no se pierda. Ahí está. Sí, eso es lo que se tiene que hacer. Este, hello. Hello, teacher. Continue, continue. Hello. Ok. Sí, es que me voy conectando, es que se me apagó la compu, entonces. Ah, don't worry, Carla. Hasta ahorita Thank nos you. estamos poniendo. Nos sí, estamos poniendo de acuerdo. Sí. Uh -huh. Ok, don't worry, girls. It's ok. Va, entonces, este, eh, A, eh, you y... Let it be, este, yo, oh, okay, okay. Inicia, usted. Mm, eh, yes, yes, yes. Eh, hello, Carla. Eh, welcome. Hello. Eh, how are you? Eh, excellent. And you? Good. Allí, eh, me tiene que decir a... Good. I have here the list of activities you have to do. First, you have to... Um, uh, you have to uh -huh. ok entonces repetimos nuevamente yeah I have to practice practice ok I am B o oh, I am uh, si sí, I am B you yeah. A I am the A ok Hello, Marcos. Welcome. Okay. Okay. Where do I have to buy a gift? In the store. Then you have to send it to new client. Okay. Hello, Mabel. Welcome. Hi. How are you? Good. I have here the list of activities you have to do 
first you have to buy a five potato four tomatoes and one cucumber okay where where do i have to buy uh, these things Yes, okay. in my house. Okay. In your house. Then you have to. Okay, see you, sir. Hello, uh, Lisa del Carmen. Welcome. Hi, how are you? Uh, excellent. I have heard the list of activities you have to do. Um, I drink coffee with bread um, for the dinner, uh, all the dinner. Okay. And I rest at five. Yeah. Yes. Uh, where did you live? Um, I live in Santa Ana. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, where where do you live? In Santa Ana. Uh -huh. I I start teacher. Teacher. Oh hello. Teacher. Hello. Expliquen. Estamos confundidas. Sí. Vaya, básicamente solamente van a, a practicar la conversación que les mandé en WhatsApp, pero van a agregarle más información. Vaya, pero en la primera, como son las el ejercicio actividades... que hice, como el ejercicio que hice con Cristian. Ajá, pero es que como Cristian lo demás ya no lo dijo esto de where do, do I have to, o sea, no le hizo la pregunta, sino que solo de un solo le, le... Dijo las no, pero actividades, en ese, ¿no? caso, en ese caso, usted pregunte, como por ejemplo, esa pregunta es como que, ¿y dónde tengo que, que dejar lo, lo, mis papeles? ¿Dónde tengo que firmar? O alguna pregunta que a usted le surge en ese momento, depende de qué tipo de conversación esté haciendo, ¿ya? Mm. ¿Y en, en la última? Mm. La misma conversación, pero la ustedes misma. se van a cambiar de roles. Ah, ok. Hurry up, guys, because okay. I will give you two more minutes. Okay. But, Carla? Oh, sí. Empieza okay. usted. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, hello, hello, uh, my name. name? <laughs> Maggie uh, or Magale. <laughs> hello, Maggie, welcome. Uh, how are you? I'm not fever. Uh, very good. Um, okay. Good. I, no, sí, yeah. Usted en you, para que yo le diga, ah, oh, good, excellent, este. Ajá. Great. Eh, lo, le pregunto yo de nuevo. Eh, Bye, okay. How are you? Eh, excellent. Uh, I have where the listening activity you have. Eh, to do a fair, you had to? Um, good. Ah, no, yo la tengo I... que decir, ¿verdad? Es que yo la tengo que decir. Usted es que le va esa... a dar las actividades que ella va a hacer en el trabajo o donde ah, haya llegado. Okay. Ah. No, perdón, ni Mag Maggie, usted le va a dar la lista de actividades que tienen que hacer. Ella. You first, you have to, y ahí le da la lista de lo que tienen que hacer. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. eh, how to... Ay, Dios. Me pone... ¿Alguna tarea en el trabajo? Mm, bye. Uh, how to... Um... Eh, ¿Qué? ¿Qué es lo que es teacher usted? Send emails. Sí. 
um, how to email her. Send emails, make the report, doing the report, etc. Ah, okay. Entonces, how to uh, send emails, uh, Carla? Okay. Um, where do I have to? Sí. No, ahí sí, tiene que... Ahí, ah, usted tiene que de, como decir una pregunta que se le ocurra ahorita. Eh, imagínese que ustedes están trabajando de ese reporte. Uh -huh. Entonces usted me dice, where do, usted le dice a, a Mari, where do I have, where do I have to make I mean, to send the emails. ¿Dónde los tengo que mandar? Y usted le puede decir, Mari, oh, in your computer or in your personal computer. Okay. Where do you, así, ¿verdad? Where do you? Do I have? Do I have the, the email? In, in I, I had to, um, in the, okay, computer? Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Me sale más fluido así como otra cosa que hay uh -huh. esas obligaciones. Esas obligaciones no, no, no mucho, Pero no me fluyen. Don't worry. The, the purpose is to practice, guys. But time is over. We need to come back. Vamos a ver los ejemplos que hicieron los demás, ¿ok? Let's come okay. back. Mm -hmm. Ok. Hello, hello, guys. Sorry que tengo un, un problema con la cámara ahorita que estoy solucionando. Vamos a escuchar three conversations, ¿ok? Three conversations. Who wants to do it? Three conversations. A volunteer. Ya enciendo las cámaras, guys. Just one moment. Ajá. Uh -huh. A volunteer, guys. Uh -huh. Un voluntario que quiera pasar con su partner, Julia, sí. Lizeth, Jaime, Darisa. Teacher, ya viene, teacher. Thank you, Nelson. ¿Qué to do it? Don't worry. Walter, ajá, uh -huh. who wants to do it? Amilcar. Veo como que Amilcar quiere. No sé, pero me lo... Yes. Amilcar, who's your partner? Uh, with Christian. No, oh, no, guys. Christian and Amilcar, yeah. let's do it. Listo. <laughs> Ready, Christian? Yes. Okay, Ready. let's do it. Okay. Hello, Marcos. Welcome. Uh, uh, hello, Christian. I'm fine, thanks. And you? I am fine, but I have to check my email. I have to prepare in the class for the student. Okay. Uh, where do you have to check uh, the emails? Uh, prepared to the student. I had to check my email in the office because I before I before check my email. I had to prepare in the class for a student in the school. Oh, okay, it's good. Uh, thank you, Christian. See, I see you tomorrow. See you, Marcos. Wow, a round of applause for you guys. Good job. Amilka, choose the next person. Excuse me, teacher. Could you please choose the next person? 
elijo okay. a otra persona. Ok, ok. Um, uh, José Nelson Ruiz. Oh, Nelson se acaba de venir, no, no está practicando. Ah, no, oh, Sorry. Okay. Puedo hacer el ánimo, teacher. <risa> yes. Pero sí, no que, sé. ¿Quién le puede ayudar a Nelson? Sí, bueno, eh, bueno, sigamos y tal vez adelante me. Ah. me, me por ahí. Ok, thank you, Nelson. Sabrina. Sabrina, no sé qué pasa con Sabrina. Fíjese que no se unió al breaker room. Teacher. Ajá, Sabrina, ¿qué se me había hecho? Fíjese que estaba en camino, o sea, estaba en una, en una reunión importante, pero estaba oyendo. Entonces, pero si sí no alcancé a unirme a la breakout room, Entonces, pero no sé si me quedo al final con José Nelson, no puedo hacer. Do you want to do it, guys? Or choose the next person, don't worry, it's okay. A voluntary, a, vol a voluntary teacher. Constanza, ah, hello, hello, Constanza. Hace rato la quería saludar. How are you? Fine. Fine. Hi, I'm fine. Great, Constanza, perdóname que la moleste. ¿Me puede ayudar con poner todo su nombre, please? No, no sé cómo se pone. <risas> um, se va a ir a more opciones. Más opciones a la par de su nombre y dice renombrar o cambiar nombre. Y le va a poner todo su nombre. Please, Constance. Me avisa, si no yo le ayudo. Sí, ok, no choose the next person. Another person, another volunteer. Mm -hmm. Come on, guys. The one that is in light blue color, light blue, is someone in light blue colors? <gasps> Marcos is like light blue colors. But Marcos, you didn't practice, right? Marcos? Hello, teacher. Tell Did you me. practice? Yes, I practiced in this moment. Who was your partner? My partner is Jessica. Okay, let's do it. Go for it. Sorry, Jessica. Jessica. It was not my my. <laughs> it was not my intention. Era contra Marco. No, no es en contra. I have favor para que no practique. <laughs> okay, let's do it, guys. Okay. No sé qué número. B. Okay. Hello, Marcos. Welcome. I am very well. No. Good. I have he heard the list of activities you have to do. First, you have to uh, reply emails, call clients, and prepare lunch. Okay. Where do I have to? In, in the office. Then you have to. Um, I study English. Also, I prefer the, the, no, also I practice the guitar and in other Activities, wash the dishes, and eat my fregadera. Only that. Okay, guys, great. Guys, remember que lo vamos a hacer como obligaciones, actividades. El have to lo ocupamos para actividades que, que hacemos de obligación, ¿sí? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's see the last partner who wants to do it. <clears throat> mm. 
Who wants to do it? Um, Jessica, could you please choose another another person? The last partner. Mm -hmm. The last Jorge person. Jorge, Jorge, who's your partner? Um, Patricia. Si no me Jessica. ¿Quién es el, el partner de Jorge? Creo que. Listed. Ah, ok. Listed. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ya le está cambiando el nombre. Mire, Patricia le está diciendo. <laughs> Solo me ha recordado del de apellido Miss Mead. Uh, ok, let's do it, guys. Thank you. Ok. Hello, Jorge. Welcome. Hello, Lizette. How are you? I'm fine. I have heard the list of activities you have. I have to do. First, I have to clean my room and then I have to prepare my lunch for the next day. Okay, where do I, where do I have to? In my house, for him. Okay, and in the, okay, thank you. Okay. Then you have to. Okay, very good, guys. Great. All right. So let me continue sharing the screen and let's continue with the class, guys. Just one second. It's a fifty-seven. Okay. So let's see. Just one moment. Okay, guys, so this is what we'll do right now. Um, I'll go ahead and read those features, okay? Alejandro. Those are those features here. I'll Alejandro, go ahead and... La, la de la camioneta? Okay, so sorry. Um, I will go ahead and read those features. Wait. Um, not sure about that pronunciation. One second, guys. De, de, it's not dimension. It's not like that. I'm pretty sure it's not like that. And then we have quantity. We have quantity. So here we have the features and here we have the products. Okay, just one moment. Let me let me mute here because puedo escuchar mucho background sound, guys. Let me see. Okay, so voy a leer este cuadrito ahorita. Let me read this, this uh, table. And then we will answer those questions based on this, based on the, on the, on this, um, on, 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 on the information, okay? Just one second, because I'm not pretty sure about this. Dimension, dimension, okay? Dimension, dimension. Let's repeat after me, weight. 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 Dimension, weight. Dimension, dimension, and quantity. 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 Okay, so we have those are the three pictures. And here we have the products. We have tablets, television, and refrigerators. This is an information, guys. An information that you can find in a book, in a paper, in a, in a piece of paper, anything. Okay? Usted puede encontrar una información así. ¿Y qué pasa si a usted le piden que depende de ese reading o depende de un cuadro usted 
conteste unas preguntas. So, eso es lo que vamos a hacer ahorita. Después de leer este cuadrito, vamos a contestar estas preguntas. Three questions. Can one person store all the televisions oneself? Where can you store 50 refrigerators? Can you store the tablets on, on themselves, I believe? Themselves. Oh, no, on shelves, actually. Shelves. Do you know what, it, what, what a shelf is, guys? What is a shelf? Mm -hmm. Shelf, shelf is where you put you put the books, okay? Like a bookshelf, okay? Es like a bookshelf. Estante. Mm -hmm. Estante. There you go. Okay, so let me read it for you guys. We have feature, we have weight. The weight for tablets is 107, 170 grams. Okay, then we have the television. The television is uh, 112.43 pounds, okay? Pounds, in English is pounds. Pounds. Libras is pound, okay? Then we have refrigerator. The refrigerator is 300 and 340, 300, 340 uh, pounds. And or between, sorry, it's between. Este dash que pueden ver ahí se lee de esa manera. 300, 340 pounds be between 340 pounds and 380 pounds, okay? El between lo ponen en el principio. Between 340 uh, pounds and 380 pounds. Así se lee eso. So, we're talking about weight, right? Let's talk about... Give me a second, guys, que se escucha bastante ruido. Lo... Ayúdeme con el micrófono. Sorry, ahora se escucha mejor, right? Okay, so uh, di dimension, okay, dimension. The dimension of the tablets is 19.3 centimeters by, by, eso se lee by, 13.7 centimeters by 1.03 centimeters, okay? Then we have the television. The television is 41.3 inches all right by 26.7 inches right and the refrigerator is 48 48.18 okay 48.18 and then we have the quantity the quantity for tablets television and refrigerator the quantity for tablets is 200 for the television is 100 so tablets are, oh, we have 2,000 tablets, 1,000 televisions, and 50 refrigerators, okay? So, let's see. Ahora, guys, it's time for you to read it. Léanlo tranquilamente, en silencio, y respondan basado en lo que acabamos de leer. These three questions, okay? Just one second. These three questions that we have here. So let's have three minutes to, no, five minutes to do it, okay? Five minutes. Is that understandable, guys? Volver a leer el cuadrito, analizarlo, okay? De qué está hablando? Weights, peso, dimensiones, o sea, de ancho, okay? Y quantity de cantidad, okay? Cuánto pesa la tablet, cuánto pesa la televisión, el refrigerator, ok. 
cuál es la dimensión que tiene las tablets, televisions, refrigerator, and cuántos productos hay. Si a ustedes, por ejemplo, en su trabajo, guys, ustedes tienen la tarea, ok, here you have this. Ayúdame, como, because you're learning English, porque usted está aprendiendo inglés, ayúdame, por favor, porque yo no entiendo este cuadro, ok. Basado en este cuadro, quiero saber estas tres preguntas, ok. Y esas son real life Real life exercises. A veces eso pasa cuando estamos trabajando y nos ponen un ejercicio así. Y nosotros, no, pero es que no sé, es que no sé. Pero estás estudiando inglés, nos dicen. No, pero ayúdame, ayúdame porque no entiendo. ¿Sí? Así que ese es uno de los ejercicios reales que a veces nos pasa en el trabajo. All right? So, ayúdame, please, guys, a leer el cuadrito y luego a answer those three questions. ¿Ok? Um, let me ask you a question. Because here, it's the way that you feel comfortable. Aquí es como usted se sienta cómodo. Do you want to work in pairs? Or do you want to uh, work individually? Pairs or individually? Because in pairs, you can help each other. Individual. Individually. Individual. Okay, let's do it. Teacher, la lista. Oh, yes. Thank yes, you, Maggie. Thank you. Let me go through the attendance list right now. Thank you. Okay. Guys, um, are you able to see the same screen? Teacher. Mm -hmm. Just one question. With the dimension, we say, Bye, really? Bye, exactly. Bye. And when we are talking about math, like, um, ah, or by is, is we say bye. No, in this case, it's times. For example, four times eight. It's times, the, the word times. Four times eight. Cuatro por ocho, four times eight. Uh, Time. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and when we are talking about money, it's time really <laughs> sorry how come an example sabrina um, no pensé pero ya ahorita ya no le encuentro la lógica <laughs> no ya dije no, mi pregunta <laughs> no no worry <laughs> pero está bien está bien, está bien. En, en dimensiones digo bye mm -hmm. exacto okay bye Thank you. 
Guys, les voy a mandar unas imágenes ahorita al grupo que son de la manera como nosotros eh, How do we read? One second. The fractions, ¿ok? Las fracciones. Le voy a mandar un documento, un este, oh, acá, ya sé, unas imágenes le voy a mandar. Para que usted sepa, sepa cómo leer las fracciones. La que les dije es one eighth, ok, one eighth. O puede decir an eighth, como en números ordinales. Ahorita se lo mando, ok, para que lo tenga ahí con usted. Le voy a mandar algunas imágenes. Vaya. Ok, guys, ahí les mandé la información para que ustedes lo tengan, ok? Voy a pasar la lista ya. Uh, help me out to say present. Ángel Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Present. Cristian José López Pérez. Present. Estela Mabel Orellana del Cid. Present, teacher. Liliana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Iliana, Ismael Arturo Morán Vázquez, Ismael, ah, sorry, Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés, Jaime, oh, thank you. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez, present, Jonathan Alexis González Torres, present, teacher. Jorge Antonio Feliciano Rivera. Thank you. José Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Present teacher. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Present. Kenny Lisset Cuellar de Barrientos. Present teacher. Linda Magali García Montoya. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Marcos Antonio Mergar Pérez. Present teacher. Sorry. Ok. Present teacher. Marielo Janet Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. Marta Lidia Godínez. Marta Lidia Godínez. Sabrina Lisset García Orellana. Present. Walter Alexander Lemos Medina. Present. Marcos Amilcar Mancía Gutiérrez. Present. Lucía Susena Chica de Claros. Present. Turma Yarixa Córdoba. Present. Constanza Osmara Cáceres Trinidad. Present. Thank you, Constanza. Carla Elizabeth Escobar Esquivel. Present. Lice del Carmen Hernández Mismi. Present. Milton, no sé si me escucha anteriormente. Que le mencioné que ya reporté lo de su caso. Oye, a ver qué me dice. Ok, sure. De acuerdo, Thank sure. you. Porque si no, no, pensé que lo iban a actualizar ahora, pero no, it's not updated. Okay, guys, so let's see. Did you finish? Yo, yo, we will do it together. We will try to analyze it. Vamos a analizar juntos, all right? So it says, 
read the conversation again to answer the questions. Okay. Can one person store all the televisions oneself, guys? What do you think? No, the television are excessively heavy. They are so heavy, right? Demasiado. It's too too heavy. They are to, they are too heavy. Sorry. What do you think? What what are the other things, guys? ¿Qué, qué piensan los demás? It depends of the time. For example, can store oneself, for example, in one week or in mm. one Mm-hmm. It makes sense what you said. Okay. What do you think? What what does everyone think about this? Okay. I sorry. Let me let me start start sharing again. Because I don't know why. Where is it? Oh my god, I can't find it. Let's see, just one second. Believe it or not, no puedo encontrar el libro. Hace poco lo estaba compartiendo. Acá, aquí está. Okay, so next question is, oh my God, where is it? Where can you store 50 refrigerators? What do you think? Where can you store 50 refrigerators? In a warehouse. At the warehouse. In the warehouse, very good. Teacher. What is the preposition? I learned yesterday. I learned about the warehouse. Okay, so at the warehouse. At the warehouse. Teacher, so, what preposition do we use? In at the at. What do you think, guys? At or in? I think that, that in. is in. In? In. 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 in the warehouse. Okay. Yes. Thank you. You're right. In. You're right. You're right. What about the number three? Can you store the tablets on shelf on shelves? What do you think? Can you store the tablets on shelves? How many tablets do we have? How many tablets, guys? Mm -hmm. Two thousand. Two hundred. Two hundred. Two hundred. Okay. 200. So, can you store the tablets on shelves? They are a lot of shelves because it's in plural. Yes. Yes. In a big shelf. In a big shelf or in many shelves, right? Two in many times. shelves. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good, guys. So, good job. So, since we already made this exercise, guys, this is pretty much what we will do right now. Allow me one second. Let me see if I have... No. Okay. So, guys, uh, right now, we will go ahead and talk about Cam. Okay, acá tenemos más o menos, más o menos eh, como idea? una actividad, una idea de cómo utilizar el can. All right. So, el can, guys, is used for information. Cuando usted quiere eh, preguntar por alguna información. Or for possibility, posibilidad. For example, the three questions that you already answered. The number one, can one person store all the televisions oneself? Is that a possibility or an information that you are asking? Possibility or information? Possibility. Possibility, right? What about where can, I, where can you store 50 refrigerators? Possibility or information? Information. Information. You're asking for information. Very good. Mostly, guys, whenever we use can for information, la mayoría son preguntas. Okay? Cuando ustedes utilizan el can, la mayoría son preguntas. 
Recuérdense que el quién tiene más usos. Más usos. Y ahorita solo estamos viendo dos. Information and possibility. ¿Ok? And the number three. Can you store the tablets on, on shelves? Is that possibility or information? Information. Possibility. Possibility, possibility, possibility. Very good, okay? So guys, this is pretty much the reason why we use can. Two reasons, there are more reasons, there are more uses. Can for information, la mayoría lo van a hacer preguntas, WH question. For example, where can you stock all the new products? Do you know what's the meaning of stock? <coughs> Stack. Mm -hmm. What's the meaning of stack, guys? Stack. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Stack. It's like pile up. Do you remember pile up? Como se be pile up. Sí, ¿verdad? Acabamos de ver ese noun, ese verb, pile up. ¿Qué significa pile up, guys? And store one, above. over the other one, over the other one, over the other one, right? Yeah, so it's the same, pile up in a stack, okay? It's put the products over the other one, okay? Hacer una pila, the product. Absolutely. So, stack all the new products okay pile up all the new products okay that is for information when quieres saber dónde y dónde y cuándo okay está preguntando por información por eso es de wh se conocen también como information question entonces cuando usted pregunte por qué una de las de las um, usos va a ser para pedir información okay pero siempre acompañado del WH. ¿Está entendido eso, guys? Is that understood? Yeah? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. So, what about possibility, all right? Possibilidad de hacer algo. Okay, possibility. For example, can she stack all the new products? Okay, can she stack all the new products? En, cuando estamos hablando de third person, sin, third person singular, aquí no va a haber ninguna inflection, ninguna conjugación. No le vamos a agregar ese ni nada. Okay? So don't worry about it. So, can guys, can she stack all the new products? Possibility, right? Um, let's see what else. Can... Luis Ernesto, can Luis Ernesto come late tomorrow? What do you think? <laughs> can Luis Ernesto come Garcia? <laughs> come late tomorrow? Is that a possibility? Maybe. Yes, it is. Yes. If there is much traffic. Uh -huh, exactly. The internet doesn't work. Can it rain today? Tonight. Can it rain tonight? It's probable. Yes, it's raining now. Possibility, right? <laughs> okay, so possibility, guys. So before to continue, oh, no, no. Let's do something for tener more practice. Um, let's read the following, following, following statements to write a questions about it, okay? Usted va a leer la respuesta. Lo que va a hacer es hacer la pregunta de la respuesta. All right? For example, you can store them in the back room. Hmm. What will be the question here? What, what can be the question here? You can store them in the back room. Can you store them you in the back room? Cuando es una yes no question, ¿cómo se responde? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. No, no I, I can't. Can. No, I can't. Okay. Where can you store them? 
Aha, uh -huh. very good. Where can you store them? You can store them in the background. Okay, very good. What about the number two? Solo vamos a hacer dos acá. What about the number two? Los demás le hacen ustedes number two. Yes, she can. She can sign the form. What will be the question here? Can she sign the form? Can she sign the form? Wow, very good. Why? Because of the answer. Is that yes, no? Because it's short answer. Okay? Cuando le den más información, esto significa que usted le va a poner WH questions. Y cuando sea así, un short answer, entonces quiere decir que es una, es una yes, no question. All right? La yes, no question son esta, ve. Donde está la posibilidad. Y la WH son estas. Ok. So, let's complete number three. From number three until number six. From number three until number six. Ok. If you have any question, let me know, guys. Ok. The number one and two, we already did it, guys. So, let's do just those four ones. Let me. Mm -hmm. Guys, let me know whenever you finish, please. Finish? 
Okay. What about the other ones? Did you finish, guys? No? Yes, did you? Yes? Okay, guys, do me a favor. Okay, um... Do me a favor, guys. Let's go and stand up. Okay, stand up and try to go to the bathroom if you want. Try to go and drink water if you want. Okay, let's have just two, two minutes. Okay, two minutes to rest a little bit. I know it, it is too short, but if you want to drink water, let's go and drink water. If you want just to stand up or stretch out or you need to do something, maybe charge your phone, or oh my God, I needed to do something, two minutes, okay? Come back at 9.32, 32. 32, okay. Mm -hmm. 33, sorry, <laughs> 33. Okay, guys, thank you. All right, let's see. We will we will practice this together, okay? We will practice this together. Let's see. Let's resolve it together. Number one. Um, Lucia, are you there, Lucia? Um, Ileana, Ileana, hello. Could you please help me with the number one? Walter, could you please help us? Walter and Eliana, you can do it together. Yes. Uh, where can mm -hmm. I, where can I? Uh huh. Where can I? Store. Mm -hmm. Store them, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you can you can invent the name. Puede inventarse algo. Store. Store the, the, the television. Whatever. The television. The TV. The TVs. Okay. Mm -hmm. There you go. Where can I store the televisions? What is the answer, Walter? You can store them in the bathroom. Good job, very good. Okay, let's see, Lisa, could you please help me with the number two? Okay. 
can can she mm -hmm. can she see the form sign can you can she sign, sign the form question mark right yes, yes she can she can sign the form very good good job okay let's see um marielos janet could you please help me with the number three marielos Can we? can we? Uy, casi no le escucho, pero sí. Can we? Can we? Um, movie and the tele, tele, television. All the televisions. Very good. Uh -oh. Uh -huh. what, what is the answer? Excuse me. Uh, no lo logro. Uh, no, no. We can we can move on the television all the televisions very good good job julio could you please help me out thank you marielos julio where is julio uh, when oh thank you uh, forward uh-huh thank you when 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 can when uh, can they pile they pile up the box. Up the boxes. Very good. Amazing. Julio. Okay. Kenny, could you please help me with the numbers five, Kenny? <clears throat> Sorry, teacher. And um, number five? Ah, uh -huh, number five. Mm -hmm. You can store the 90 cars on the warehouse. Mm -hmm. Can you can you the, oh no um, where how um, mm -hmm. where can very good where can can you mm -hmm. um, store Store. Mm -hmm. Store cars. A store, store. The ninety. The ninety cars. The ninety cars. Mm -hmm. Very good. Where can you store the ninety cars? And the answer is. You can store the ninety cars on the warehouse. Very good. Good job. Okay, let's see. Uh, Carla, could you please help me with the number six, Carla? Uh, can I give you informa information? Oh, in this case, can, I believe it's can, you, can you. Okay, can you? Mm -hmm. Very good. Can you give? Give you. Can you? Can you give me? Can you give me? Uh huh. Can you give me? Information. Information. Of, of the, the product. The product. Very good. Of the product. And the answer is? What will be the answer? Um, yes, I can, I can give you information of the product. Good job, perfect. Okay, let's see. Jarixa, Jarixa, could you please tell me uh, and say if the number one is for information or it is for possibility? Is information? Information, very good. Number two, Constanza, what do you think? The number two is for information or for possibility? For possibility. For possibility. Can she sign the form? Very good, good job. Amilcar, what do you think about the number three? Uh, information. 
information. Can we move all the televisions? Sure. Possibility. A possibility. A uh, possibility. Very good. Okay, let's see. Marcos? Are you here, Marcos? Uy, se durmió Marcos, tipo. Se durmió. <laughs> Jonathan, could you please help me to read the number? I'm sorry, to tell me if the number four is information or possibility? Um, I think it's information. Infor uh, sorry, I didn't, I, I just forgot that you were busy. But thank you, thank you, Jonathan. Um, information, yes, information. Vamos a ver, let's see. Nelson, could you please tell me if the number five is information or possibility? Um, it is... Um, Where can you store the nine inform cards? Information, teacher. Information, very good. Let's see, Ismael, the number six is information or possibility, Ismael? Um, mm, <laughs> Mabel, could you please tell me if it is information or possibility? This is a possibility. Possibility, very good. Okay, guys, I want to ask you if you might be having questions about these exercises that we just performed right now. Questions about possibility information, no? Questions about the structure? The negative form, guys, of can? Just to double check is can't, okay? This one, can't. That will be the negative form for any kind of this um, person here. It can be first, second, or third person. Can is for all of them, okay? It doesn't matter if we have a third person, no, okay? We use can't for negative form. You can't, she can't, he can't, I can't, we can't, and they can't. Okay? <laughs> Questions about this? No? Teacher. Yes, Nelson, tell me. El, el, el can, o sea que en el caso del can con la TV, ¿eh? Exacto. Que es, que es con... ne, ne, negativo, negativo. Uh -huh. eh, negativo. Es, Esa, contractado. Ya, esta, esa W con la que le antecede no, no, tiene, no, no va unida con, él, con ella, ¿verdad? No, 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 ese es el sujeto. ¿Mm? Ok. No. Y, guys, el normal form sería cannot, ¿ok? Cannot. Y el contractado es can't. Entonces, usted puede decir... For example, she cannot, she cannot, mm, came, she cannot came uh, late, okay? También puedo decir, she can't came late. Guys, is there any mistake there? Siento como que hay un mistake. Is there any, any mistake ahí? ¿Todo bien? Está bueno este verbo. Can is in past, but... In past. The... It's come. It's come. It's come. It's come. Yes, thank you. So, she cannot come late. And she can come late. It's the same negative, okay? Negative. So, si yo quiero hacer esto en pregunta, ¿cómo lo voy a hacer, guys? If I want to make this a question, a yes, no question. ¿Cómo lo haría? Can she come late? Can she come late? Very good. Can she come late? Is that a possibility or information? Possibility. Possibility. Could you please tell me a question with information? 
utilizando la misma información? When can she when, come? When can she come? Late. Como que quiero que venga tarde, o quiero saber cuándo puede venir ya tarde. O no, como una posibilidad. Ok, si está hablando, mmm, ¿cuándo puede, puede venir ella tarde? Como para no dejarle esta tarea, ¿verdad? When, she, when can she come late? Uh -huh. Es que estoy pidiendo una información. All right? So this is possibility and this is information. Ok. Any other questions so far? Excuse me? Teacher, entonces, Why can you... ¿quién es una excepción a la regla con la conjugación? Como oh. de, la tercera, de la tercera persona. Ahorita te digo, solamente give me a, give me a, give me a, um, a second. Alguien dijo, why can she come late? Very good, ok. Puede ser otra también. So, no es que sea excepción, lo que pasa que el can, guys, el can acá está, está, es un moral verb, ¿ok? ¿Se acuerdan de los moral verbs? Could, can, should, ought, aunque okay, eso no lo hemos visto, must, alright? Los moral verbs no tienen conjugación en tercera persona, ¿ok? So, porque es un moral, no se pone conjugado, alright? Okay, teacher. You're welcome. So let's see. Questions so far about this structure or everything is fine, guys? Okay. So let's see. We're very we're we're done here. We're almost done. Okay. Let me get just one second. I believe this is gonna be the last activity. I just want to make sure that we finish all of this. One moment, please. Oh, I, re I, I just forgot about this exercise, guys. This one. <clears throat> okay, this is just like a kind of um, matching exercise, match the different features. We have features here. Okay, and we have some definitions about the features. So you need to go ahead and match them, okay? For example, a measurement of proportions of some kind. Hmm. A promise to repair, replace something within a period of time. Repair, it, it is warranty, function, storage, battery life, battery life dimension, price, weight, size. Solo vamos a ir poniendo dependiendo de la definición y del concepto. Que de hecho es una feature, una característica, ¿ok? So, let's do this exercise, guys. This is the last exercise. Will I go and take the, the attendance list, ¿ok? If you have any question, guys, about uh, pronunciation, about meaning, let me know about vocabulary. Let me know, okay? We almost done. 10 more minutes and we're done, okay? Voy a pasar la lista rapidito, guys. And let me see when, who's gonna be with me for the one-on-one session is Estela Mabel, Estela Mabel Orellana, Estela Mabel. Present teacher. Thank you. Could you please stay with me today in the one on one session? Okay. Okay. So, lo hacemos en de, eh, de acuerdo a la asistencia, guys. Quiere decir que el día de mañana, jueves, se quedaría Iliana Carolina Calderón. Luego, Ismael le toca el viernes, right? Friday. Okay. And then Jaime on Monday de la otra semana, Jessica Tuesday de la otra semana, Jonathan Wednesday next week, Jorge Thursday next week, and Jose Nelson Friday next week. Okay? Okay. Next week. 
Ok, de ahí seguimos con Julio, Kenny, Linda. Sería la tercera semana. Ok. So. Ángela Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Present Cristian Josué López Pérez. Present. Liliana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Present teacher. Thank you, Liliana. Uh, Ismael Arturo Morán Vázquez. Present teacher. Jaime Avelar. Jaime Antonio Avelar Corte. Yeah. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Present teacher. Jorge Antonio Feliciano Rivera. Present teacher. José Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Present teacher. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Present. Um, Kenny Lizette Cuer de Barrientos. Here teacher, present. Linda Magali García Montoy. Thank you, Present. Kenny. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Marcos, uy, Marcos creo que has problems with the internet or maybe with the energy. Marielos Janet Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. Marta Lidia Godínez. Marta. Sabrina Lizeth García Orellana. Walter present, Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you. you yes. Walter Alexander Lemos Medina. Okay. Marcos Amil Carmancía Gutiérrez. Present. Lucía Azucena Chica de Claros. Present. Zulma Yerixa Oliva Córdoba. Present. Constanza Osmara Cáceres Trinidad. Thank you. Carla Elizabeth Escobar Esquivel. Present. Y Lizette del Carmen Hernández Miss Smith. Present. Milton ya uh, tomé su attendance list. Okay, don't worry. I know you're here. Um, okay, guys, le voy a mandar. You're welcome. Don't worry, Milton. Oh, guys, le voy a mandar el link de la lista de reproducción que tenemos nosotros de todas las clases para que ustedes vean las clases. Si ustedes las quieren volver a ver, ahí está el link. Se meten a ese link que les voy a mandar y ya ustedes van a ver las clases grabadas, ¿ok? Así que pues les voy a mandar ese link. Y guys, no se les olvide hacer las tareas después de la clase. Please. Let me see. Si tienen preguntas de las tareas. Guys, you let me know. This is the link for watching the recording classes. Vale. Ahí le mandé el link, guys. Guárdenlo. Denle en clic y van a ver las clases que ya se grabaron. Si las quieren volver a ver o si faltaron. Constanza puede volver a ver esos, esos, esas clases para que esté on the same page que los demás. O lo que han faltado hasta el momento, ¿ok? Y um, si tiene algún inconveniente, Constanza, o alguna pregunta, con gusto le ayudo. ¿Qué más les iba a decir? O oh, sobre las tareas. Y les voy a pasar ahorita, guys, la presentación de los días que hemos visto. En caso de información que necesite ahí, ya ahí tiene las presentaciones, ¿ok? A veces hay sí, slides que son súper importantes que usted al verlas ya se recuerda de, de la estructura que estamos viendo y ya con eso usted puede, puede hacer las tareas. Así que pues por eso les digo. Voy a mandar los primeros dos. Las primeras dos presentations. Ahí se los mando, guys, ¿ok? Did you finish, guys? Yes. ¿Ya? Yeah? Okay. Ya lo vamos a resolver. Pero entonces, la otra lista y 
Okay, guys, so let's see. Uh, let's read the number A. Um, or... Luis, could you please help me to read the number A? I mean, letter A. Uh, measurements or propor proportions of uh, some kind is okay. number four. It's number four. So is dimension? Yes, guys? Dimension is correct. What do you think? Mm, no, yes. I think it's one. Is the number one size? Mm. What do you think? Yes, one. One, right? Mm hmm. ¿Qué piensan los demás? The number, the number, number one. one. Number one. Number one, one guys. Four. Number one. The measurements, right? Mm -hmm. Letter D is one. Okay, number one. Guys? Yes. Now it's four. It's four. Mm. Letter D is one. Um. Attends. Overall dimension or magnitude? Now, uh, the letter D is four. The space available for retention mm -hmm. of something. D is four. Give me a for second. Me is a the letter D. I think. One moment, guys, because I got confused already. But it they are similar, very similar. Mucho calor. Pero teacher, la dimensión no puede ser la dimensión. Sí, it, it, it makes sense that that tense as well. Okay, one moment. So, ¿qué piensan los demás, guys? Help, help us, please. Student. Mm -hmm. Guys. ¿Qué piensan? What do you think? For me, it's correct. Which Better one? Eight is number four. Oh, me too. Okay, it's correct. Measurements of proportions of some kind. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, vamos a ver. Vamos a completar todo. Después vamos a analyze it. If we have time. If not, we continue tomorrow. What about letter B? I promise to repair, replace something within a period of time. Number eight. eight. Number eight. Number eight. 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 Number eight. Okay, what about letter C? A measure of battery performance and long, long D. Number five. Number five. Number five, Bye. battery life. Okay. Bye. What about D? A thin overall dimension or magnitude? One. Number one. Uh, number this is number one. Number four. Let me get a second, guys. One teacher. Dimension, guys, is measure in one direction set here. 
It's the measurement. So, size. Let me see size. No es que no sepamos, pero okay. Physical magnitude. Propor proportionate dimensions. Of. So, yo creo que entonces sería así, guys. Measurements is for dimensions. And measure and... What was the other one? Dimension or magnitude is for size. Le voy a corroborar bien porque no tengo el teacher's book here. Lo ando buscando and I don't have it. Nunca pensé que fuera tan confundido, pero I believe it's this, porque in the dictionary dice esas palabras. Look at this. In Marian Webster dice que size is physical magnitude proportionate, proportionate dimension. And <coughs> this is size. And for dimension, it says, double guys, I know it's time, time is over. Yes, <coughs> okay. <coughs> time is over, teacher. <laughs> In dimension, it says measure in one direction. Solamente esto dice. Measure in one direction. But in Spanish, dimensiones son medidas de longitud. Metro, pie, kilómetros. In this case, it's letter I. It's letter A. But size is like a... Uh, let me see. Es el tamaño. Size is like a tamaño, la talla. For example, the, the shoe is the. Son medidas. The pants is. Vaya, uh, guys. <laughs> Tratemos de, 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 de. Mañana lo resolvemos. Don't worry, ok? Bueno, a ver teacher, si tienen un poquito más de tiempo para analizarlo. Algo <laughs> Yo lo voy a buscar. Sencillo. Algo sencillo es que en la 4 dice, pues, son dimensiones o magnitudes. Y sería raro que dijeran de las dimensiones, son dimensiones o magnitudes. Sí, eso Las dimensiones son unidades de medida. Y la 1 y la donde dice size son tallas, donde entran las dimensiones, camisa M, eh, pantalón 32, por decirlo así. This is correct. Letter A is 4 and letter D is number 1. Ok, vamos a ver. Yo, yo lo voy a corroborar en el libro. Don't worry. Vaya. Ok, guys. But time is over. Yo no les quiero quitar tiempo. Tomorrow we will continue with this. Ok. So I stop sharing. Have a wonderful night. <laughs> Sorry for, for the three minutes. Ok. Have a great night. God bless you a lot. And we see you tomorrow. Ok. Bye bye. Si no, eh, no se va a querer quedar conmigo ahora, Mabel. Ok. okay Bye, teacher. guys. Take care, ok? Bye. 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 Sleep, ok? And rest. Descansen, duerman. Bye. Have a good night. Have a good night. Take care. See you. Hello, it's Mabel. How are you? Hello, teacher. Fine, and you? Fine. I, I'm a little bit tired, but I'm here. <laughs> and we finished the class, Mabel. So, yes. Mabel, this space is actually created for you. So you can have, if you have any question, comment, feedback about the class, um, anything that you want to share with me, anything that I can help you in your learning process, any tip, any extra uh, material, any reinforcements that you need, that maybe you said, teacher, you know what, I didn't understand the class, can you please explain to me again? Or teacher, I don't understand this, can you please explain it to me? Or teacher, you know what? I'm so bad at reading or at listening. Could you please give me a tip so I can improve it? Anything, Mabel, that I can help you in this course, 
tell me this stage is yours and I will be more than happy to assist you today, all right? And the other days as well. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I, I um, try to be better in my listening because I have problem with, I uh, uh, hear different pronunciation. Mm. I confuse sometimes. Um, um, in the in different words, uh, but I try to practice my listening with um, um, songs with a um, um, uh, an application in my phone, and um, when people uh, speak English, I try to pay more attention because I have this problem. <laughs> And uh, when yes, it's difficult, it's, it's very difficult when we change, we change a teacher because it, it don't talk uh, the same. Mm -hmm. But I try, <laughs> I try yeah. to, to understand. I, this is my, my problem, my listening. But Listen. I try to, to, to be better than that. And uh, I like your your way because uh, you have to ask to think in English to uh, work in the exercise to uh, take the batuta. <laughs> mm -hmm. We have to take the batuta. <laughs> and this is nice because we try to think we try to to practice more and yeah. i i like it i like it oh that's great I'm going mabel. To, try to, to, to practice more <laughs> <laughs> and mabel congratulations your fluency is very good and thank you for trying okay sometimes i met i made this um i made this kind of conversation in spanish and sometimes in english but i don't know why i say mabel is one that can handle a conversation in english i don't know i say that and i study <laughs> and you're in you're managing the conversation very good i mean i i um i am understanding you so good you are understood so congratulations do you normally practice your english skills in your job or with another person no no in my job but it's personal because i don't mm. i don't work with with uh, this language english i work in spanish totally <gasps> spanish <laughs> wow but i try wow i so i studied is uh, before no after before after, before uh, English before before English but I forgot really? everything and and I decide I know I have to study English again and try to be better let's and keep it up keep it up I know you can do it better <laughs> better than that Mabel because I, I mean, you are not afraid of speaking. And that's what I like. You you are not afraid of speaking. You try and you try. And by trying, you learn. So you don't worry yeah. about making mistakes because this is normal. Don't worry if you mispronounce one word. If you forget one mm -hmm. word and you say it in Spanish, don't worry. It's okay, Mabel. But let's practice. Let's talk. Let's Speak in English. That will help you a lot. To be honest with you, Mabel, here in this country is very difficult to develop this listening yeah. skill at to the hundred percent level, because we are not in the environment when we listen to everyone speaking in English, right? You actually learn a lot whenever you are in this environment. For example, in my case, Mabel. For me, listening was, oh my God, so horrible. I mean, it was one of my, uh, of my, of the most difficult skill that I had before. But I, I got an improvement after I work in a call center, but just in mind, I had to work in a call center before 
in order for me to improve that skill because that was the only way to speak every day with customers or to speak every day with native people, all right, of the language. That was the only way. Because even though I studied this, um, the major, even though I studied the whole years in English and this stuff, I didn't have the environment for me to develop this skill. So it's difficult, Mabel, and it's difficult. But yeah. what I highly recommend, Mabel, and that, that will be the only way is to speak with another person that is speak native, um, I mean, native English. I don't know if you might be having someone you know, everyone will tell you this. Speak with someone, with your friends, with your family in the United States. They don't have time. It's difficult. But if you don't have someone, Mabel, I have an application that is is called Talk People. People talk, something like that. Talk, talk People? Have you heard about it? Talk and People. No. Yes, um, that is a really good application and I try. I really like it because you can speak with people that are learning Spanish. I mean, they learn Spanish and you learn English. So they are interested in learning oh. with you. And they and it's not too formal, but it's not like a social media. Because a social media, you know mm -hmm. that there are all kind of people over there people that they don't want to even learn they don't want they want to shut something else so this application is there are people that want to learn and whenever you talk to someone you can also send and receive audios so it's really awesome i was talking last last year i was talking with one from north america and he was awesome. He was learning French and he was there just to help me because he didn't, he, that he could speak Spanish perfectly. But he was practicing with really? me. Yes. But you can imagine, he sent me photos of the landscape of Utah. He sent me uh, audios speaking in, in, in English. And oh my God, the accent was a native one. And I learned a lot over there. Mm -hmm. It was a great experience, but what you need to do there is not to be shy, Mabel. Is to go and, and send uh, requests, friend requ friends requests to the ones that I speak is English. Send requests, send messages and say, hey, hello, I want to practice Spanish, English, sorry, could you please help me? Mm -hmm. And they can send you audios mm -hmm. and it's really good because the, it's native, they are native speakers. So, mm -hmm. and they are learning and it's really awesome because this I didn't have any bad experience. I talked with five different ones and I didn't have any bad experience. Hello talk. I always made this mistake. It's hello talk. Lo voy a mandar. Hello talk. I will send it Please. right now. Let me share it to the general group. So you can just um, okay. download it from the Play Store. But it's really good. I always recommend it because I really like it. I really like it, but you need to go and Thanks. use one day, try to click and click until you learn, right? Because at the beginning, the platform or the application, you say, oh, no, I don't like this or, oh, no, I don't understand it. But don't give up, Mabel, okay? Don't give up. And if you want me, if you want me to practice with you, I can do it. Send me an audio and WhatsApp. Tell me, hi, teacher, how are you? And I will practice with you. Even though my 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 um my accent or my pronunciation is not perfect, it's not native because it's not gonna be new, it never is not gonna be native, right? But I can try, mama. I can try to do my best, and we can we can talk. If I don't answer immediately, sorry, but I will answer. And I have done this with my students. Okay. I have done this with okay. my students, like, hello, teacher, how are you? Oh, I'm fine, thank you, and you? And we'll make the conversations. Mm -hmm. So 
I'll go ahead and tell you, I will be more than happy to practice with you in the WhatsApp. Send me audio so you can mm -hmm. listen and you can practice at the same time. And the last thing that I can tell you is to watch a series, a soap opera or a movie with the subtitles in English and in English. I mean, English, English. So you can see the subtitles, the writing practice, and you listen at the same time, and you will learn pronunciation at the same time. That will help you a lot. Okay. And I will send another video right now about the sounds that we have in English. The sounds that we have in English, that will be awesome because this is part of the listening and part of the pronunciation as well. 44 sounds. This is the name. I will send it to you right now. Watch the video and watch it um, as many times as you can. All right. At the very first time is confusing. And you might be saying, oh my God, that is confusing. But that will help you a lot because you know you will know how the sounds are made. And now that you know the sounds, how the sounds are made, you will be able to understand a little bit. I mean, better than before. There you have. I send okay. it to the group, okay? Okay. So those are my recommendations, Mevel. And if you have any other question, let me know mm -hmm. or anything else I can do for you so I can help you to improve your learning process. Tell me, okay? Any questions so okay. far, Mevel? Yes. No. I'm I, so talkative, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Thank you. Because I try to practice my listening. It's important. Okay. <laughs> yes. All right, Mabel. Thank so you. So it's been a pleasure to know about you. Nice to meet you, Mabel. And um, see you tomorrow, okay? God bless you a lot. Okay. Bye. See you, teacher. Good see you. Good night. Take care. Bye.